Well, today uh, we, we appreciate you coming to see us on the Lawn Care Grandpa channel, and we're going to be talking about head gaskets. Now, this is a problem that maybe not everybody's going to have, uh, but when you have it, it's a pretty serious one. So we wanted to kind of go over some issues about head gaskets and what to, to, to know about them, like how to diagnose that it might be, what you should do to fix them, all that kind of thing. So I'm here with Jerry McMillan, where uh, he's had over 40 years of landscape and lawn care experience. I've worked with him for 10 years, and we do these videos to help homeowners and even uh, professionals alike with different issues that uh, they might be having while they're trying to do their lawns. So today we're going to talk about head gaskets. Well, if you had a head gasket below, chances are your engine would be hard to start. It could be missing real bad when you start it up. And if you put a new plug in it and it still misses, chances are it could be a blown head gasket. What causes that is a lot of times people will speed up the governor. The governor on an engine is designed to make it cut faster as it gets into high grass. It just does that automatically. But sometimes people will not know that. They'll move the governor and make the engine run real fast so that they just feel better that way. But it's not the right thing to do. And that can blow a head gasket running too fast. So the best thing to do is check those things out. If you blow a head gasket, it does take a little bit of effort to get it fixed. So what signs would really point to that? Like let's say you're running a lawnmower. What are you going to notice that's going to lead you to believe that maybe there's a head gasket problem? Well, if you've got a mower, it's normally running really good, smooth. But after a while, you've been in some high grass or you've maybe been pulling something heavy and then uh, you get it operating and kind of missing, missing a little bit and uh, you think maybe it's a plug and you change that and it still misses, it could very well be a head gasket because you put a lot of strain on that motor. Okay. Now, and, and then you would also want to check to make sure you're not like smoking because you got mixed gas in there or something because that would make a miss too right. after you've checked a couple other things. So let's say you have a blown head gasket or at least you suspect it. Is it something you could just run your lawnmower with? Is it, will it still keep running? Well, the chances are it's just going to get worse. And if you uh, have a mower that has to cut a little bit of high grass or like maybe pull something or has heels to pull, it'll it'll begin to wear a lot quicker. It'll get, it'll get to where it won't run at all. So you need to just get it fixed. And uh, You could do it yourself, but a lot of uh, maintenance shops, they'll charge you by the hour and you'll almost always have one hour to get that head gasket fixed because the people know how to do it. They could change the head gasket pretty quickly. They know how to do it. <laughs> All right, so you, do you think it's it's worth repairing a head gasket? Now, we know there's a difference between a new mower that's under warranty, then a, a mower you've had for a few years, and then a really old one. And then there's different sizes of mowers. So give us an idea of like when you would want to fix it uh, and replace it, or it's time to get a new mower. Well, actually, if you have a mower that you're familiar with, one that you've been using a lot, and it really runs pretty good, it's pretty new, and uh, one that you like uh, using, it's well worth fixing, and it's well worth putting a little money in, because it's not real expensive to fix, and it would be rare if it did cost a lot. But usually, the person that does this for a living, changes head gaskets, fixes head gaskets, they could do it in a short time, maybe one hour, one and a half hours at the most. Okay, so let's say that you needed to fix one, all right, so one of your mowers has a head gasket problem, you're pretty sure. You're going to take it in to get it fixed. What do you think it would cost in, you know, on average? Well, actually, uh, most of the guys I've worked with, the maintenance shops, they know what they're doing. They could actually change that uh, head gasket probably in an hour to an hour and a half, which would probably run about $125 in labor, and maybe 30 or $40 in parts. So. You might be looking at just under two hundred dollars to get it fixed. All right. So if you got a a, a mower that's reasonably uh, a good mower, then it'd, it'd be worth doing that then. Oh yeah. If you're uh, if you're using a mower and you're using it regularly and it's normally a pretty good mower, you're familiar with it. You really want to get that fixed because it's not that big a deal. Replacing it would be a big expense. All right, well, we appreciate you coming by and listening to us ramble a little bit about head gaskets. Um, it's, it can be an issue that it's going to get worse and worse, so it's, it, you're going to need to take care of it. And hopefully we helped you be able to decide if that might be the problem you're having. 
Uh, if you have any other videos you would like to see, leave them in the comments below and hit like and subscribe for us. That, that helps us uh, make more videos and yeah. make sure that we know everybody what everybody likes. And um, come back and see us next time and we'll have some more questions we'll answer for you. All right, I enjoy doing it. Thank you for watching.